Would you look at that? I just won a coffee house waffle. Now let's put this back to the start to see if I get the same prize. Hmm, that's interesting. It appears that I have landed on a different spot, but I didn't change anything, did I? I started from the same position and I was spinning the wheel both times. What changed? Well, despite these actions appearing to be the same, they were in fact quite different. Every big action is just a series of smaller actions. The first time I spun the wheel, I put my hand on the east side of the wheel, but on the second time, I put it slightly above on the northeast side of the wheel. And this is just one of many other tiny differences that are even harder to notice. And yet, as seen by the results, these small changes clearly had a big impact. Let's try something different. Now, pouring a bucket of sand onto the ground seems like one simple idea, but is it? Bringing a bucket of sand into the library would be a messy idea, and I haven't brought a hoover or a shark to clean it up. But if I scale up this bag of sand a little bit, it could be very much demonstrated by this Galton or Plinko board, whichever you prefer to call it. Notice how the pucks are knocking into each other, causing them to shoot out in opposite directions. That is what's happening to the million grains of sand that you drop out of the bucket. Any bump between grains sends the grains to bump into other grains of sand, ultimately changing the outcome of the resulting sand pile. But all of these tiny changes don't really matter, do they? I mean, you can't change how things occur after they already happen. But what if you could? Yes, these small actions change rather small things in the short term. But what impact could these small actions have on the long term? Find out as I, as I read A Sound of Thunder by Ray Bradbury on this episode of Rowan's Reading Corner.